Hi everyone, welcome back to Lights, Camera, Bake. I haven't baked in a little while, so this is really good. Um, I really felt like baking today, but I had no idea what I wanted to bake. I kind of felt like something with apple and cinnamon and that sort of thing. And then I kind of felt like something chocolatey. I don't, I just, oh, I don't know. All I knew was that it had to be gooey. And that leaves my options quite fast, really. I can make anything gooey. Really. So I thought today I would do an experiment. Um, this is kind of like a totally made up thing. I haven't seen it anywhere. I realized that I had some marshmallows that needed using, because I use by date. Also some condensed milk. So I sort of drew inspiration from my Caramello stuffed blondies and also my Oreo stuffed chocolate chip cookie. And I thought, why don't I try doing like a cookie base, putting marshmallow and then and caramel in the middle and then covering it with more cookie. See how it turns out. And I thought I might do half with chocolate chips and half not just to see the difference and I don't know how this is going to turn out. I don't know whether it's going to be gooey, whether it's just going to turn into a big blobby mess. I have no idea. I've never, I haven't seen this and I haven't done this. So I guess this will be exciting. So enjoy. First of all, grease a sponge roll tin or slice tin and preheat your oven to about 180 degrees Celsius. And first we need to cream the butter and sugar and it's brown sugar and so I've got about 200 grams of butter and about a cup of brown sugar. I've really cut down on the sugar because I will be adding marshmallows which are sugar and caramel which is sugar so I'm going to just beat these. <laughs> lovely and creamy so then we need to just add an egg or well, two eggs so add one egg first and then beat it and then add the next egg and some vanilla essence Now we add the flour. I've got about two cups of white flour and a cup of um, wholemeal flour. To this I've added a teaspoon of baking soda and half a teaspoon of baking powder. And we just mix it all together. not. So if you find this easier and just use your hands just do that. Make sure they're nice and clean. Ew. Super gooey. Right, do you think I can eat all that? Probably, but I won't. Ugh, where did all that go? And now, for the next step, wash my hands. So first we need to halve the mixture, maybe two thirds it. So two thirds of the mixture goes on the bottom. And just got to spread that out. Easiest with hand. Because it's so sticky. If it does stick to your fingers, just lightly wet them and it won't stick anymore. <laughs> Handy little trick, which I'm sure everyone knows, but if you don't, well that's good, I taught you something. Great. 
Now I'm just going to place that in the oven for about 5 to 10 minutes just so that it can start cooking. You could take this time to make the caramel. I've already made mine. If you want the tutorial on how to make the caramel, um, just click here and you can see how to make that. The recipe, of course, will there'll be a link in the description, so you can just follow that. I always put my recipe links in the description, so always look there. Right, so I've got it out of the oven. I only left it in there about five minutes. So now I'm going to sprinkle over marshmallows, as I learned from the s'mores bars. Um, they don't need to be touching each other to spread. I'm just eyeballing it. I would say maybe about. Oh man, I'm dropping them all over the floor. Um, half a cup, maybe more. Half a bag. Go with half a bag. There you go. I've got about half a bag. Minus the ones that dropped on the floor. Oh, one's in my slipper. I'll eat that. Okay, so I hope that looks okay. hope it's enough. So then on one side I'm going to add chocolate chips, but I'm going to leave the other side out. So, just going to get into the dang thing. So I'm going to start with about a quarter of a cup. Quarter of a cup is going to be plenty, I think. Quarter of a cup and a handful. There we go. You get back on your side. Yeah. I'd say that's about halfway. And then reserve a handful for yourself. Like this. And then pop it in your mouth. Nom, nom, nom. And take your caramel. I've doubled the recipe that was in that tutorial. I'm not sure how much I need, so I'm just going to pour. Oh, that looks good. Yum, 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 yum. Cover the marshmallows and that runny goodness. And then just take the cookie, the rest of the cookie stuff, squish it to a thin layer and just cover it as best you can. Oops, sort of sinking a bit in the caramel. Too bad. Now that that's nice and covered, I'm going to put it in the oven. And I'm going to say around about half an hour. I'll keep checking it. But it'll be until it's starting to go brown. And maybe I'll try and stick a skewer in it and see if the base is cooked. It might not work because of the caramel, but yeah, I'll check in half now and see how it goes. So there's my delicious slice. I'm going to give it a try. If you want the slices to be lovely and, you know, cut nice without it going all everywhere, I'd recommend putting it in the fridge for an hour or so, and then they'll cut nicely. Me, I, I did let it cool, just not as long as I probably should have, but that's beside the point. So this is the chocolate one, let's see, 
That is lovely. Gooey, chocolatey, sweet, delicious. Here's the non-chocolate one. That is also delicious. That one you get more of a caramel flavour. Oh, they're yum. Okay, um... I recommend both, to be honest. They're so good. I do quite like the caramelly flavour, though. Because it just takes away from chocolate, you know. And chocolate... I always have chocolate, so... If you want something a bit different without chocolate, go for that. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the experiment. Um, in my opinion, it was a success. Even if the marshmallow was still gooey, like... Smalls bars, but too bad. Until next time.